What's up YouTube? What's going on guys? Uh, welcome to today's video and uh, for today's video what we're going to be doing is um, going to be washing the Porsche and uh, doing this clear bra. So uh, I ordered a clear bra from uh, 3M and uh, I mean listen if someone else could do it why not try it anyway? I bought insurance for the clear bra anyway so if I mess it up they're going to send me another one free anyway so you know. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the car cleaned up, uh, pull it outside, clean it up. You know, it's the holiday times. I'm gonna be playing Santa Claus. No, I'm not gonna be getting dressed up as Santa Claus. But uh, I do have a Toys for Tots event coming up. So I have a bunch of toys that I'll be donating for, uh, you know, kids in needs and stuff, which is amazing because it's that time of the year where if you can give back, you know please give back to your community to your friends your family or whoever it is because there's nothing better than giving so uh yeah uh i'm gonna pull the car out wash it uh i actually gotta run to the store grab a clay bar clay bar it down and then pop this these boxes open here they sent me two big boxes i guess this got the whole roll this got the whole roll of uh 3M and then this one I think it comes with like a whole DVD and all this other stuff so yeah uh, you know this is gonna be a process for me because I don't like detailing cars <laughs> so you know it's gonna be a, a process as I said so uh, the car is filthy I actually was at an event yesterday it was raining so it is actually really filthy right now so yeah let's just pull it outside let's get you know started guys so the car is all clean uh, you know ready to be uh, polished down but uh, let's unbox let's just unbox this real quick to see what 3m actually provides I've had this for like three weeks and I have not looked in the box yet so let's see what we got I believe they said they sent everything in this package to do this job. I might not have to go get anything. Alright, so this right here says bumper. So that's the whole front bumper, this roll. Then uh, you got the light kit. Uh, the second roll is the light kit. And then you got the door guards, the door guard kit down here. So that's there. This other one is the fender. So these are the fender kits, one left fender and right fender. I got some spray bottles. 
spray bottles. They gave a blade. They got the squeegee, the squeegee to you know apply it on. And a microfiber towel. Well, that's all for this box. Let's see what's in the big box. I'm assuming this must be the hood. Yeah, so I was exactly right. So uh, this is the the hood. This is the entire hood film right there. So uh, yeah, that's it. I thought it was supposed to come with a DVD, but apparently not. It does come with instructions though. So just gonna review that real quick. Read the instructions. And then, uh, you know, start applying. All right, guys. So uh, it's actually day two of this video because uh, yesterday the time got a little bit late on me. But, you know, I was able to get through all the videos and uh, just basically read all the instructions and everything. And pretty much know how to go forward, uh, you know, with this particular DIY. Now, there's a selection of things that you need. I personally, when I ordered this kit, uh, I did order the complete kit that comes with the squeegee, comes with a knife, comes with a, a, a towel, even though I have plenty of these towels. But what's important is the mixtures. So this is uh, my soapy water mixture, which I have to fill up a little bit more. I gotta let these bubbles settle. And the instructions, and the instructions, it does give you the exact amount, you know, of uh, soapy water, soap to water ratio. This is my uh, alcohol solution. This is going to be my tax solution. Uh, this is distilled water. It specifically said, you know, get distilled water. So I went and picked up some distilled water. And I personally, I went and picked up uh, this uh, clay bar kit by Meguiar's. Because what I'm going to do is, you know, I want to make sure that the surface is nice and smooth. You can't have any wax or anything on it. Uh, so I'm just going to make sure, I'm just going to clay bar it. I'm going to clay bar it, one of these clay bars, and uh, use some of the soapy water solution. Clay bar it, and then uh, Meguiar's actually got a real nice towel that they gave in the kit. And just wipe it down. So that's what I'm going to do now. I have all my pieces here. I'm actually going to do the hood first and see how that goes. You know, it's a big piece, so it's going to be a little bit challenging, but this is going to be fun. So see you guys during and after this process all right guys so another important thing to note i do have my uh, uh a heater in my garage right now because it's about outside is about uh 40 degrees no no no. sorry it's about 50 degrees or so outside but i want to make sure it's nice and warm in here because the instructions do say that you need to be between 50 and 90 degrees to do this so you know right now it's about 65 degrees inside uh the garage which is uh perfect and comfortable and ideal to do this job so um let's get to it getting a lot of uh the dirt out of the paint right now
this front bumper was complete torture like complete torture because there's so many curves in the bumper that uh, I'm not happy with <laughs> I am so not happy with it um, let me Yeah, so you know, um, it came out personally to me, it came out like shit. And uh, that's specifically why I actually purchased insurance on the, uh, the front bumper piece because I already knew that I was gonna have trouble with, uh, with all the arches and everything else. And uh, you know, just the round areas on the front bumper. The hood came out almost pretty much perfect it just you know it's drying right now but the bumper there's lots of imperfections that i don't know if you could even see right now on the camera uh you know there's one there one here some there i'm gonna actually uh bring you in closer because uh, you know it's trial and error like i said it costs the extra like 15 dollars to purchase insurance for the front bumper piece so i'm gonna get a new one for free anyway well i paid 15 bucks or whatever for the insurance so I'll get a new one and I'll eventually do the front bumper over again I mean now I kind of have a better idea how to go about it anyway it's very difficult as you can see I actually have my wife down here because you need two people at least for the front bumper because you just need someone to hold the other side like you can't really hold it without it falling on the floor it falls on the floor it gets dirty that's a complete other mess so well, let's check it out. Alright, so, you know, far away, you can't really see the imperfections like that. I mean, far away, it looks pretty much almost fine. But, uh, I bring you in closer. For, you know somebody woke up to the car somewhere they, they you know they'll see these imperfections so right here so right here you can see where i got a line and i i mean listen i probably spent the hour and hour and a half on this front bumper but i kind of just had to slice this bubble here and then there's a small bubble there and then around this light Around this light, you, you can't really tell, but the way this light is, it, it's like it, it arches here, and then it arches here, and then it arches on the center there. So it's extremely hard to get this completely flat. You know, when you have a bumper like this, that literally this whole thing right here is an arch, then there's a whole dimple there. So this, this came out perfect. Side came out perfect, but it's just really right when it got to this light, is where I had the biggest issues. It's only really that. Uh, in the front here, I had this one issue here, which was strange that I even had this because the other side came out good. But I had to actually make a, a little uh, slice here because there was a big bubble here that was just not coming out because there's an arch here on the bumper and then there's an arch here on the bumper and then right here there's a arch out so it just was not forming uh you know the rest of it is fine it's just drying that's why it, this looks like this but uh come around to this side this side came out this side came out perfectly fine which is you know strange this side came out perfectly fine but then come back to this side by this arch you can see that arch there I had to make this small incision and then once again by the light um, I had those little issues there not as bad on this side as the other side none of this is actually visible if you're standing five feet five feet away from the car I mean when it's yours you notice it all but probably nobody will notice it but I notice it I noticed there but uh yeah I mean you know hood is drying hood came out 100% perfect. Uh, I'm gonna move on to the fenders, the lights. You know, those are easier. The fender is easier, the light will be easier. 
the hood was big but it was not so bad it was sort of easy but bumper tricky the lip part did come out uh perfectly fine though i mean you know part this whole part down here is just drying but this whole thing came out perfectly fine just a few imperfections that i'm not happy with see how i mean i got you know literally uh, this thing come with a 10-year warranty so besides the 10-year warranty and the insurance for now you know it's it has its purpose but I am definitely, you know, going to change it in the near future. So let's just continue, move on to the rest of the car. Here's some contact with a test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Welcome home, Columbia. We're going to test it off first.
All right, guys. So, uh, you know, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed that little ride along. Man, that Jay-Z is freaking fun. Like, the noises that thing make is just so intoxicating. It sounds way better than this Porsche sounds, but we're not going to go there, right? <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, listen, a uh, little pro tip for this whole PPF thing. If you get it, uh, make sure you purchase the insurance for any part of your car that might be really curvy because those are the, uh, the problem areas. Um, take your time. Take your time. Like, this took hours to do. Like, hours. I probably spent an hour and a half on a front bumper. I think probably an hour on a hood. The, the fenders were easy because at this point, you know, I'm already acclimate, acclimated with the whole thing. And, uh, you know, it, I probably did both fenders in probably an hour. But, uh, you know, take your time, uh, be patient, lots of water, use lots and lots of soapy water, you know, it really helps to have the plastic slipping around, you don't want it to be dry anywhere. But, uh, yeah, you know, hopefully this helps you guys to do this yourself. I did save, literally, I probably saved, I think, somebody quoted me $2,000, another person quoted me $1,800. To do the to do exactly what I just did, I purchased the same thing they was gonna purchase, and do it, and uh, I paid seven hundred and fifty dollars for the entire uh, front end of my car to get uh, PPF'd, and uh, yeah, you know, seven fifty, and I took several hours of my own time in my garage and my space or my time to get it done. So you know, I saved you know what 800 bucks or so eight nine hundred dollars i saved a ton by just doing it myself yes the front bumper didn't come out perfect but that's what insurance for it's like extra 15 bucks i paid 10 or 15 bucks they're gonna send i already ordered the other one yesterday they're gonna send it out they're sending it out you know free of charge when i get around to it i'll do the front bumper again but guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this and uh stay tuned for the next one i got some real dope stuff coming in you know, for this Porsche uh, content. So uh, see you guys. Peace. Happy holidays.